The full match list for WWE 2K24's Showcase of the Immortals has finally been revealed, with the mode set to feature 21 matches that span the 40-year history of WrestleMania, with new and returning stars set to appear. So let's take a look at the matches, starting with the first match of the showcase, which is the Intercontinental Championship match from WrestleMania 3, as we have the singles bout between Ricky the Dragon Steamboat and the Macho Man Randy Savage. The inclusion of this match sees the return of two new legends, with the first one being Miss Elizabeth, who appears in the corner of the Macho Man, with this being the first time we've seen Elizabeth since she last appeared in 2K16. On the other side of the ring, we have the return of George the Animal Steel, whose last appearance came in 2003's Here Comes the Pin, as Steel was ringside in the corner of Steamboat after he developed a crush on Miss Elizabeth. Originally, this match featured in 2K14's 30 Years of WrestleMania showcase, though only Miss Elizabeth was included at ringside as George the Animal Steel was left out. Also from WrestleMania 3, we have the main event match between Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant, who was accompanied to the ring by Bobby the Brain Heenan. This bout was one that we've seen featured as part of the 30 years of WrestleMania celebration in 2K14, though given that this is one of the biggest and most replayed moments in the entire history of WrestleMania, then it's no surprise to see it return. The next match on the list takes place at WrestleMania 5, where Rick Rude would go on to challenge the Ultimate Warrior for the Intercontinental Championship, which is a match that came about after Rude lost a super pose down at the Royal Rumble as the fans in attendance voted for Warrior. The inclusion of the match marks the return of Ravishing Rick Rude, whose last appearance in the series came in 2K19. Next, we head to WrestleMania 8 for another Intercontinental Championship match, as Rowdy Roddy Piper defends his championship against Bret the Hitman Hart. This match was a hard-fought contest that seen Piper grab the ring bell and attempt to use it as a weapon, only to then change his mind and lock Bret into a sleeper, which he was able to reverse. Jumping ahead to WrestleMania 10, we have the iconic ladder match between Shawn Michaels and Razor Ramon, which was a title unification match for the Intercontinental Championship. This match, which was another one to be featured in the 2K14 showcase, seen both men enter the match claiming to be the rightful Intercontinental Champion, as Michaels was stripped of the belt for not defending it enough, while Razor was crowned the new champion after winning a battle royal. As a result, both men entered as the Intercontinental Champion, with both belts hanging above the ring. The last of the matches to take place during the 1990s is the WrestleMania 13 bout between Bret the Hitman Hart and Stone Cold Steve Austin, which was a submission match that seen Ken Shamrock enlisted as the special guest referee. The inclusion of this match is the third time that it's been part of a showcase mode, as it first appeared in 2K14's 30 Years of WrestleMania, where it used a generic referee in place of Ken Shamrock, before it was then included in 2K16's Stone Cold Showcase, where Shamrock appeared as the special guest referee. As for the match itself, while you could argue over it being featured for a third time, it is a major part in the history of Stone Cold, as the finish to the match seen a double turn that resulted in Austin becoming a babyface and going on to become one of the most popular stars in wrestling's history. Moving into the 2000s, we have the inclusion of WrestleMania X7, as The Rock defends the WWF Championship against Stone Cold Steve Austin in a no disqualification match. This bout, which is another to have featured in 2K14, was the second time that these two men would headline together in the main event, with the outcome of this match seeing a repeat of WrestleMania 15, though Stone Cold would turn heel in the process, decimating The Rock with a steel chair and siding with the devil himself, Mr. McMahon. Jumping ahead to WrestleMania 20, we have Eddie Guerrero defending the WWE Championship against Kurt Angle. Prior to this match, both men were initially allies, however this changed after Eddie won the WWE Championship from Brock Lesnar, as Angle, who won the right to challenge for the title at WrestleMania, would turn on Eddie during a special guest referee match, refusing to count the pinfall and attacking Guerrero. Our next match takes place at WrestleMania 25, where Shawn Michaels attempts to defeat The Streak in a match with The Undertaker. Prior to the match, we got two special entrances, with Michaels, who was dressed all in white, descending from above, while The Undertaker was raised up through the floor, surrounded by flames. This match was an incredible encounter that seen many near falls, with plenty of finishes and false finishes that really kept you on the edge of your seat, though ultimately, Undertaker would come out on top to keep the streak alive. 
Next up, we head to WrestleMania 31 for the singles match between Randy Orton and Seth Rollins, which featured that incredible curb stomp into an RKO reversal that would go on to be featured as an OMG moment in 2K16. The inclusion of this match is an interesting one, as it could bring about two returning stars in Jamie Noble and Joey Mercury, as both men were ringside in the corner of Rollins. The last of the matches to take place in the 2010s is the main event match from WrestleMania 35, which was a triple threat winner-takes-all match for both the Raw and SmackDown Women's Championships featuring Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair and Ronda Rousey. This bout was previously featured in the Women's Evolution Showcase of 2K20, where it appeared as the final match of the showcase. It's unknown if the match was originally set to appear in 2K20, as unlike the other matches in the showcase, the triple threat match didn't include any cutscenes and it took place as a regular match. Given the inclusion of this match, this confirms Ronda Rousey, who was thought might miss out on an appearance after leaving WWE, though that isn't the case as this match confirms Ronda's inclusion. Moving into the 2020s and the pandemic era, we have one of the most anticipated matches on this list, as we have the Firefly Funhouse match between John Cena and Bray Wyatt. Given the wackiness of this match, it's hard to imagine how 2K will go about recreating it, as there were various segments that took place out of the ring, though going off the trailer, we do know that part of it will take place in a darkened arena, so it's possible that we'll see match segments in ring to play and then cutscenes to show anything else. The inclusion of this match also confirms that we'll see multiple attires included, with Bray Wyatt's Funhouse gear confirmed and The Fiend, while John Cena comes with his Green Respect gear, his original prototype outfit and the Doctor of Thugonomics. The next match on the list is the WrestleMania return of Stone Cold Steve Austin at WrestleMania 38, as Austin came out of retirement to face Kevin Owens in the main event. Prior to the match, Austin's appearance had been billed as a guest on the Kevin Owens show, only for things to break down and an impromptu match take place as Austin made a winning return in his home state. Our final set of matches take place at last year's WrestleMania 39 and involve each of this year's cover stars. These matches include Rhea Ripley vs Charlotte Flair for the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship, with this match seeing Rhea dethrone the Queen after delivering an avalanche riptide to win the Women's Championship. Bianca Belair would go on to challenge Asuka for the WWE Raw Women's Championship, with Bianca going on to defeat Asuka and become the new Raw Women's Champion. The final match of the showcase sees the undisputed WWE Universal Championship on the line as Cody Rhodes looks to finish his story and defeat Roman Reigns, though ultimately Cody was unsuccessful, falling to the hands of Reigns like so many before him. So that's all of the matches that are set to take place in the showcase of the Immortals, with the mode seeing 21 matches in total, which include the return of George the Animal Steel, Miss Elizabeth and Ravishing Rick Rude, along with confirmation of both Bray Wyatt and The Fiend. While there's not a great deal in terms of new legends, there are some classic attires to look forward to, with these including classic versions of The Rock in his Hollywood persona and Seth Rollins with the blonde dye. For me, the thing I'm looking forward to the most is the arenas, as we have 16 WrestleMania venues confirmed, including WrestleMania X7, which for me is an all-time favourite. So I'd love to know what you make of the match list and the content that we'll get as part of it, so let me know what you think in the comments. Until next time though, thank you so much for watching this video, have yourself an awesome day, and I'll catch you later.